Hello everyone, this week we are starting the new volume of the five books of uh, Moses, the volume of Exodus. This is Parashat Shmot, Exodus. And what is this uh, week about? This week is a starting for the big saga of the story of Exodus. Six weeks of a saga. And these six weeks are known to Kabbalists as the days of Shovavim. Shovavim initials of Shmot, Vaera, Bo, Beshalach, Ito, Mishpatim. Six parashot that we are going, that we are starting to read this week. What does that mean? We have few levels of understanding. One level is, as we studying El Shmot Ne Israel Abay Mitzrayma, verse 1, chapter 1, these are the names of the children of Israel coming to Egypt. And Rabbi Chaim Vital, the main student of Rabbi Zakluria, is asking, should be, these are the names of the children of Israel that came to Egypt. Why coming to Egypt? Why in present tense? And the answer is as follows. The moment a pregnancy is starting, the body is starting to grow. And as the body grows, the forces of the soul named Israel are coming in to that body. The body is Mitzrayim, Egypt. In Hebrew, Mitzrayim means the narrow place. Where is the narrow place? When the soul is coming into the body, the soul is coming from a world of endless, a world of total freedom, freedom of movement, freedom of access to knowledge. The soul is seeing from the end of the world to the other end of the world, the whole universe. Suddenly, the soul is stuck inside a physical body. Not just a physical body, not just into a limitation. Little peepholes, the eyes, the ears, the nose, whatever senses we have. More than that, inside a body that disturbs all the time, that throws us down, the body that wishes all the time to connect to physicality, to uh, yearnings and desires and cravings that have nothing to do with the soul itself. And that's why the body consciousness is Satan, which means the disturber, because it disturbs us from connecting to the light, which is the real goal in our everyday life. So why do we come to the body? So Rabbi Ezekloria is teaching us that there is no tikkun, correction, unless you are in a body. Only when we can overcome the body and the disturbances of the body, only then we can earn the light. So, as the body grows of the child, the soul grows also. The forces of the soul are coming all the time. That's why it's in present tense. The soul is coming in all our lives. When the soul level is coming to a critical level, which is the age of Bat Mitzvah or Bar Mitzvah, 12 for girls, 13 for boys, then we have the ability to wage a war against the body and to take over, to create our own liberty and freedom. Because a person that is addicted to food, drinks, sex, or anything else that has to do with the body consciousness, he is a slave, enslaved in his own Egypt. During these six coming weeks, the universe is giving us a gift, a coaching program that will help us to coach ourselves out of our own personal private Egypt, out of our own slavery, achieving real freedom, real liberty, person can have by law all the liberties in the world, freedom of speech, freedom of whatever. However, we all know when we are addicted to anger, to hatred, to all kinds of negative emotions, or of course back to the body desires and cravings, you're not free. You don't have your time, you don't have your mind. It's all enslaved to Egypt, your own Egypt. So stay with us, going to the site, listen to the classes, and go with us 
through this universal coaching that in the end of it, when we learn to get out of our selfishness, Egypt, out of narrowness, Egypt, limitation, Egypt, Mitzrayim, to loving our fellow human being as loving ourselves, here we achieve total freedom and the Zohar is teaching us this is freedom of death, freedom from death. And that's why when it says that Moses is coming from the mount with the tablets, there was freedom, charut ala luchot, and the sages are saying charut ala luchot, freedom on the tablets. So stay with us, walk with us, take the lessons, and within six weeks, hopefully we'll be much more in freedom and liberty, loving others, and happiness, whatever the universe wants to share with us. Thank you, and good luck.